They replied, this is Acts, Paul's trip, Paul's uh, situation on his way to Rome. They replied, we have no letters from Judea or reports against you from anyone who has come here, but we want to hear what you believe. But the only thing we know about this movement <laughs> is that it is denounced everywhere. Interesting. Went ahead and made a Facebook post about that verse uh, where it says, but we want to hear what you believe for the only thing we know about this sect, this movement, is that it is denounced everywhere. Well, that's the way the truth always is. What does, every, you know, the billions of so-called Christians or Catholic Protestants, round about a billion Catholics, you know, another Jesus false church, round about 1.3 billion together, today's so-called protest church, Baptist, Methodist, you name it, Calvinist, doesn't matter. Calvinism comes the closest, but the, it's still a bastardized man-made religion. Catholics, all of them, they all believe in man's free will. I sit here and tell you, there ain't no free will. God's declared the end from the beginning. And what is it? It is denounced everywhere. So a time was set, and on that day, a large number of people came to Paul's lodging. He explained and testified about the kingdom of God and tried to persuade them about Jesus from the scriptures, using the law of Moses and the books of the prophets. He spoke to them from morning until evening. Some were persuaded by the things he said, but others did not believe. And after they had argued back and forth among themselves, they left with this final word from Paul. The Holy Spirit was right when he said to your ancestors through Isaiah the prophet, comma, go and say to this people, when you hear what I say, they will not understand. When you see what I do, they will not, you will not comprehend. We'll, we will finish out Acts of the Apostles tomorrow. Let's continue on with Daniel 6. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God, of course, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any God or man within 30 days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions. The king answered and said, the thing is true according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which altereth not. See, once, once the king signed the law, that was it. He could, not even he could reverse it. Then answered they and said before the king that Daniel, which is of the children of captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased with himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and the Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. We'll get to the rest of that tomorrow. Love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.